So, Lovable 2.0 has finally been released. There have been apparently seven I counted eight game changing new features that have been released. They're all inside this here, and we're going to cover them today. I'm going to show you all the features, what they do, and are they actually game changing or not? So, first of all, let's get into it. Lovable, what is it? Well, it's for idea to app in seconds. So, basically, it's like you give it a prompt and it gives you a website, pretty much. Some examples here you can see. Now, if we get into what are the actual updates, well, first one, very briefly, the branding's changed. So, it's gone from this here, you'll often have seen this logo, to this kind of logo here. It's just the branding generally, the vibe has changed of it. it, has this kind of like textured look now, which uh, looks pretty cool. But anyway, cool branding, yeah, that's that's that bit. The next bit, which is actually kind of interesting, is this dev mode. So, essentially now, dev code, as you can see here, let me choose a pen, we'll go for red, there we go. So, you can see dev mode, it lets you edit the code of your project directly in Lovable. So, if we go to, I have an example website that we just made here, with the new Lovable 2.0. You can now toggle this here, and you can actually see the code. So you can interact with the code base. I mean, look at all that code that it's made for this tiny little page. That's crazy, man. But anyway, so uh, you can actually edit this code now too, which is pretty cool. But then the thing that I often find with these kind of game-changing updates is, I mean, this is pretty much just like, you know, it's coming, becoming Roo code or Klein or something. So like in VS code, I've just got a quick screenshot here. In VS code, you can have this here, which is your agent essentially, right? You can plug in some API, so it's not like uh, black box, like Lovable, where it uses, it's, it decides which APIs to give you, and it gives you an abstract number of credits. Instead here, it's like, it will charge you per tokens, you plug an API in, and this is your code here, and you can give it access to it, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, essentially, they're just trying to bring this into the platform. But the kind of cool thing about it is that it now links up properly to GitHub. So, up here in the top right, you can see again, sync your project to GitHub. And what that allows you to do then is to actually um, be able to view it and edit in VS Code. So view it on GitHub, you can see here all the files. So we can actually track the changes that Lovable are making, which is good because one problem with these kind of vibe coding apps is basically they try to then like, they try to make a gazillion changes and you lose track of them and then it kills your app and you're like, um, all I wanted was the box to be blue. Why is everything gone? So anyway, um, so they've pulled that in. But then it starts to become this weird thing where I think they're just leaning on the lovable brand because in reality, if you can do this here and then you can have it in VS code, there is really no difference from, say, using Roo code like this, just installing the extension, adding in the Gemini free API and just asking the exact same prompt in here. So is it game-changing? No. Is that a big jump for... Um, Lovable, yeah, sure, but they've been, they've already released it, um, but it's now official release. So the next thing also that they've added is this visual edits. So visual edits, essentially now, instead of having to, as I was saying, change that box to be blue, down here on the, the left hand side we can select edit, uh, da -da -da -da. let's spin up the preview, give it a second, what's it going to do here, maybe need to refresh the page, I was stuck on that spinning up preview for ages yesterday. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, right, so now I can actually select on things and we can change them, so build something amazing, see I want an exclamation mark there, bam, and I want to change the font size, and I want to, you know, change the colour, etc, right, and although this looks like proper rudimentary, which in some regards it is, because now it's just like bringing GoDaddy or Wix in or something, the good thing about this now is we can save that, right, or you can discard it, and because we've been editing it using the, the actual, like, select editor, it doesn't charge you. So it's no, there is no credit or token usage here because you're literally just editing it like some WYSIWYG thing. Um, so that's pretty cool. Saves you money, right? That's the main thing. The next thing too is chat mode agent. Chat mode agent. I feel like it should be chat agent mode. I don't know. Anyway, basically you can now chat to your website. So have here the, the prompt in there we can click chat, just like you can select thinking or something. And now you can say like, um, does the call, I was going to say sequence, whatever. Does the call sequence make sense? I'll do. Any improvements? So basically now what we can do is we can actually ask it some opinion without it going and changing the code base now, which is pretty cool. Um, 
So you don't have to try and, as I was saying, bring it over into, you know, Ru code or something or chat GPT or whatever. You can literally just ask it here, which is a pretty cool new feature they have. The fact that it's new is a bit crazy. I thought they would have already had this because I'm sure in Ru code you can change to just ask mode. So, no, let me get Ru code up. And for reference, if you want to keep up to date with the latest things that are happening in AI, like lovable dropping, and talk to real people who are using it and getting advice from the community, then we do have a community, Applied AI, where you can learn all about how to build, automate, and stay ahead with Applied AI. And if you want to, for example, learn how to use RuCode, etc., it is actually in the Tools Mastery section here. We have one on RuCode, a whole video walking through exactly how to use it. So. We've opened up VS Code, again that actually we have that inside our AI Development Basics, just briefly how to install the stuff that you need. But inside here, if we open this up on the left, you can see Ruh Code. Inside Ruh Code, this extension here, let me close that down, pretty cool. Um, we can have this here, we can change it to Ask. I don't know if you can see that properly, but there you go. We can change it to Ask, which is essentially the chat mode. So it's not game changing, if that's what you're wondering. Now, number five, custom domains. This is actually pretty cool, but again, not game changing. Essentially now, when you go to publish up the top, you can now manage this domain. So instead of it being blah, 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 dot lovable, manage it, and we can actually add your own domain or you can buy a domain as well. And then next we have security scan. So we have the ability now to secure the, or to ensure the security, so we have the ability now to ensure the security of the website to some degree. So basically, you probably have seen there was a big thing that came out where there was a guy who was pretty much saying that he had hacked a bunch of the top websites. So some websites are like, oh, we were built on Lovable, you know, and we're amazing. So then that entices you to go and use Lovable. But apparently he hacked them getting API keys, sensitive prompts and personal data. Now, this is obviously a big problem. So... What they've done now is if you connect to Superbase, which is like a database backend provider, which they can easily allow you to link up, up here, there's this button here. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do all this in a moment. Maybe not. And then once you connect that up, when you go to publish your application, you can see Superbase, no security issues found. So basically before you click publish, it will check. Now I personally reckon that the reason that this is so handy for people, for Vibe coders especially, is that they're probably putting API keys inside the code base, which is an absolute no-go. What you should be doing is something like, you go to settings I think it is, settings, uh, da, 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 da. is it security? It is it? Superbase, and then managing secrets. And you should be leveraging secrets if you're going to be using API keys and stuff like that. So next up, we have multiplayer, which is pretty cool. What this allows you to do is to invite people in. So if we go over to the application, we can go up to invite now. And inside here, you can actually invite people to use Lovable. Now, the cool thing about this is that they will use your credits, which is pretty cool. So it means that then they can make changes um, all on your plan, so they don't have to have their own pro plan, for example. And it means that you and someone else could also work on it at the same time, which is pretty cool. So, finally, based on that, we also have some pricing updates. Well, there's a little picture of some people, obviously, all using Lovable at the same time, to um, vibe code and completely ruin the app. Actually, I wonder how that works concurrently, if two people can concurrently use uh, make changes to the app because surely there would be some sort of locking mechanism because if you have your application then you have two guys one here one here and he's like vibe code me this and it changes all of this stuff and he's like vibe code me this they're like oh, nah you need to wait mate until he's done yes yeah, so that's a bit strange um don't know how that would work anyway <laughs> so next up we have pricing updates previously right they have like this like mad thing right i personally i am an absolute Hilly hate this credits used malarkey. I never really know what it means. Like tokens is hard enough, but at least with tokens, I understand the more tokens I use, the more I get charged. When you give me a token limit, it's a bit of a nightmare because again, it's like three hundred thousand tokens. What? I, I don't know how much that is, and neither do they because like it depends on what the LLM thinks needs changed, and then how much it thinks and all this stuff. So anyway, hate it, but I also hate complex pricing structures. So they've kind of 
change this. This is what it used to be. You'd have your free tier, then starter, launch, scale, enterprise. They've now changed this, whoops, to a nice, simple pro plan with free plan. Pro, you get $25 a month and a $30 a month one for teams. They need shared workspaces. Um, and then you have your free one as well. I am currently on the free one here, as you can see, because I was trying to see how much can I get done from the free one before it starts making me charge. Um, so as you can see, credits used, upgrade three or five, two of your daily credits left. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test it out. So we have this here. This is just a, a simple application that I made. We're going to start a fresh one from scratch. We've got Lovable dev uh, link will be in the description by the way for lovable if you want to try and make it i'm going to use a prompt from applied ai so vegan recipe generator so this is a prompt that i had put into gemini and I actually had gemini use it and uh, put an api key straight in like a proper vibe coder um but it was it should be secure enough because it was all inside there but anyway we're gonna do it here Live today. So paste that in. Boom. Can you create a simple function and fill the HTML website? And what I'll do is when it's starting to run, I will then go and I will um, show you what it looks like inside Gemini to see is lov lovable and stuff like that even worth it. So what we have here, and it says give me it with API already. So let me copy that. I'll bring it in and I'll give it a, a free API from Gemini. And the way I'm going to get it. AI Studio. I'm going to show you this because it's fine because it will be a free API, but be super wary with these API keys, man. What will I pick? So apparently you have a, a usage limit per one of these. So any N element has one. Cool. We'll add one in there then. Super secure, organized up in here. Uh, whoops. Hey, Not for my testing stuff. My testing stuff's a bit kind of all over the place. Anyway, so Let's copy that. It's a pure dev environment. And then we'll paste that in here. Here's the API key. Um, accept the risks. And then let's copy all of that. Command C. We'll pop it in. And you know what? Let's do a live demo too. We'll go into AI Studio. And inside AI Studio, let's put it in here and run that. Again, if you don't know how to use AI Studio, go have a look. Pretty simple. Chat, main thing, options on the side. You can change all this stuff too. Um, if you want more information, we have a video on it in here. Bam, so you can go check that out. So anyway, let's go back to Lovable. So you can see it's working on this here, and it will spin up the preview. What we're going to do is make sure that it connects to GitHub and connects to Superbase. So for me, it is already connected to Superbase. Superbase is like a back-end provider, right? It's basically a database as a service. It is essentially a wrapper for Postgres. Postgres, just a database, right? It's just, just a database. It's, it's simple stuff. I know it can sometimes seem a bit, uh, you know, oh my God, what's going on? Super simple. So just sign up there, start a project, create a project, really easy. Um, you'll then have this. This is like your project. This is what it looks like inside. Um, again, loads of words and stuff, but it's actually pretty simple. It's all good. So what we'll do is click create new project. And then from here, we'll just give it a name. So I'll call it vegan recipes. To be fair, this kind of integration with Superbase and Stripe and that kind of stuff, these are what's making these platforms stand out and obviously how they look on the surface. Um, there we can see it's popped up. Let's click connect. And then that should be it. Oh, I know why. It's because it's still doing stuff in Lovable. So basically, when you click connect, Lovable then actually connects, so it uses the LLM here to actually connect to it. But because this is currently still creating this, then we can't get it. It's actually taking ages to write this. And um, we'll connect GitHub in the meantime too. So basically we can add it here. Connect your account. Again, just log in. If you don't have GitHub, just go and sign up for a GitHub account. It's where you will keep all of your code. Here's a tweet generator example. Go and check out if you're bold. So we have uh, my GitHub here. Create a, a simple account, and then you're just gonna link it up. Once it's linked up, you can then um, add it to your project. So let me see here, transfer project to GitHub organization. Clicking on me, and it should sync me up. But again, I think it's not gonna be able to do it because Lovable is still working. It's actually taking ages. Let me see what it's doing with files wise. Aha, there we go. Very nice. Right, so yeah, you can see even see here, connect to Superbase. 
let's click on that, it should work this time. And as you can see, it is the LLM is now talking to it. And you can see there, boom, blah, blah, blah. So it connects the relevant tables, etc. And then on GitHub, it has da, 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 added this in actually, which is pretty cool. Boom, there we go, that's it inside here. Nice. So this is what the website looks like. We can even publish it. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Publish it. We can see no security issues. Perfect. Manage domains. Let's see if we can buy a domain from here. So I'd have to go on the pro plan. But what you can do instead is you can actually add in your own domain. Oh, I need to be in the pro plan for that too. Well, hey, it's still actually working. How many credits? That was one credit to get this far in. I don't even know how much credit is to be fair. I can never really find these things out with these platforms. But anyway, we have our vegan recipe thing here. Essentially what we do now is you select things that you have in your pantry. So for example, this, generate some recipes, and then it will use the LLMO to generate some recipes. So it should work, but it doesn't appear to be working. So let me see. Um, why do I need to ask lovable? Surely it would just tell me. Paste that in. So that's the lovable version. Let's go and check out this one here, which was created in 47 seconds by Gemini for free inside AI Studio. Let's download that, pop it open, and boom. Similar kind of thing. Looks pretty much the same. Not as good, but pretty much the same. And I generate recipes. Let me see, will it work? I'll ins oh, there we go. Boom. And it actually works. So <laughs> tofu and lentil scramble. Nice lentil and oat meatballs. Pretty cool. So yeah, as you can see, uh, yeah, looks pretty cool to me. Better than Lovable, and Lovable's still thinking about what to do, etc. Um, it's still working away. But there you go, that is Lovable 2.0 in a nutshell. Is it a game changer? No. Is it a good advancement for Lovable? Yes. And I think, as I said in my last video, an important thing to realise here is that all the updates that any company really makes, they're never really game changing. Normally what they are is you get a tool, right? such as like an LLM, etc. You wrap it up, you put a little bow on the top, and it is now no longer a tool, it is a product. And when it's a product, you can charge so much more. So this tool, say, is $5, like an API key, nice, cheap-ish price. This product will be like, $30 for the exact same stuff, maybe even more. So there you go, that's you, as you can see, even Gemini, completely free, so I honestly would recommend going on Gemini instead, finding, what do they have, oh they're making you pay now, oh no, there's still are some free, so Gemini Flash Preview, for example, you can see the rate limits here, you get 10 requests per minute, 500 um, per day, completely free, so you can t chat back and forth 500 times, completely for free. So I would say get this, plug it in instead to Roo code, which is super simple, install Roo code, come here, and then you just want to select Gemini, put your API key in, select the model, say whatever one it is, that one, and then save and that's you, and you can just do the exact same thing in here, we can just ask it there, and then it will create the entire repo in here. So really what you're doing with Lovable is you're paying for the easy to use interface and that's about it. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as I was saying, come check out, join the school community where we're talking about all the latest things which are happening in the world of AI. Join a community of entrepreneurs, of creators, of architects, etc. who are all learning AI to level up. I hope to see you inside.